Welcome to the broadcast today. I'd like to thank you for beginning your week with the Bible Tract Echoes. Now, I'd like to put myself in your shoes for just a second. Maybe you're listening during the early morning hours on a Monday. Maybe you're even struggling with and coming to grips with the reality that you have to get out of bed soon. I'm not sure, quite sure, where you are at, but regardless of where it might be, whether in the early morning hours on a Monday or the noon hour or later in the evening and you're uh, realizing that you have an entire week ahead of you of work and you're dreading it, my goal, my hope, is that you, no matter what attitude you're bringing into this program today, my goal is that you leave encouraged, that you leave edified, and that we have a great time together around God's Word. We are in the book of Galatians. I'd like to thank each and every one of you that has taken the time to be with us for this study. We are more than halfway through the book of Galatians. I'm excited as we go on the downward side of this book, as we conclude this study over the next few days and weeks. I'm excited for the jewels, the gems that God has for us, and I'm excited about today. We are in the book of Galatians. If you'd join me there for just a few moments, Before we jump too far into our Bible study, I'd like to make one thing my primary focus for the next few moments. I'd like to talk about our partners, the people that make this ministry possible. Now, we're going to talk about you and how you make this ministry possible in just a few moments. But first of all, I'd like to express my incredible gratitude to our staff here at Bible Tracks Incorporated. We could not do what we do without the amazing folks that work here behind the scenes, answering the phones, fulfilling orders, all of those things tomorrow for our Tracked and Truth Tuesday broadcast. We're going to talk in depth about what a day in the life at BTI looks like, but really none of it could happen if I was the only one that walked through the doors on a Monday morning like it is right now. You understand that I could not do everything that is required of this ministry and it be successful. Friend, I could not do a quarter of what is required for this ministry ministry to be successful. And for that, we need our staff. We require some great folks that work alongside and partner with us. I'm so excited about the people that we have on board here at BTI. I also would like to point out that we have an amazing board. Our board of directors here at BTI is phenomenal. I'm not just saying that because of few of them might be listening right now. You know who you are if you're out there right now. But in all seriousness, we had a phenomenal board meeting in the early part of this month. God was there, I believe. God was a part of it. God led. Uh, The spirit of unity, of encouragement was palpable. And I'm so thankful for the men that I get to yoke up aside and work alongside for the sake of the gospel here at Bible Tracks Incorporated. Now, I'd also like to point out that we also have some great volunteers. During a large rush that we had of orders a few months ago or a month or so ago, we had volunteers that gave of their time, their effort, their energy to partner with us, and they didn't ask for anything in return. It's unbelievable to me that people would give so much of themselves, work themselves ragged. Of course, the reason, the reason that they do is because they're doing it for him, doing it for God, not for me, not even for you, friend. They're doing it for God, and I want to thank each and every one of them from the bottom of my heart. That brings me to our financial donors, the people that partner with us financially. You might be out there listening and say, you know what, I've had a part financially in the work that Bible Tracks, Inc., does. You see, this radio broadcast that's coming to you, it's very likely that the airtime that it costs for me to be talking to you right now, it costs something. And it's your giving that allows that to be possible. The people that we have seen saved and brought right to God, brought right with God as a result of this broadcast, you have a part in that. Thank you for your willingness to partner with us that way. The people, the multitude, literally thousands upon thousands of people that have received Christ as their personal Lord and Savior as a result of the distribution, the free distribution of our Bible tracts, you have a part in that if you are a financial partner with us. I want to thank you for you taking the time to put your money where your mouth is. We could not do 
what we do. We could not stockpile the millions upon millions of tracks that we have in our warehouse without you. Now, we don't stockpile them for the just to look at them. We don't stockpile them just to pat ourselves on the back about the printed materials that we have in stock. No, friend, we do that so we can send them out. And that brings us to our distributors, the people that are willing to take the time Visit our website, BibleTracksInc.org. Maybe they give us a call. Maybe they write us a letter. And they ask and they order some of our tracks. And then, beyond that, they take their time and they pass them out. They do them in a myriad of ways. Maybe they give them to the cashier at the grocery store. Maybe they leave them for the waiter or waitress at their favorite restaurant. Maybe they leave them in a gas pump. Maybe they go door to door. Maybe they put them in a piece of mail and mail it out. We have we have had people that sell things, whether it be on an eBay or Amazon type account, and they'll put a track of ours in with every single order. What a great surprise for someone when they receive a package to be offered the free gift of salvation along with their purchase. So to you, I take my hat off to you, our distributors. Thank you so much for being a part of what we do. Last but not least, I'd like to talk about our prayer warriors, the people that partner with us in prayer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This month has been a special emphasis on prayer. We'll talk about more of that uh, coming later this week. But I'd like to thank you. If you have taken even 15 seconds or five minutes or an hour to pray for us, regardless, I'd like to say thank you. And really, I should tag on one more participant, one more partner, and that's you, the listener. It's kind of foolish of me to be flapping my gums here and talking if nobody's listening. So the fact that you have your ears tuned to this program, Bible Tracked Echoes, whether you're first time, first time in a long time, maybe you're a long time listener, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's jump into our Bible study today. I was going to feature a track, but I think I've run out of time, and so we'll talk about that more tomorrow during Track and Truth Tuesday as we go beyond the track. You can see all of our tracks at BibleTracksInc.org, see a sampling of what we have. I'm excited about some special offerings that we'll have uh, very soon here, some special uh, things uh, as far as tracks go that will be on offer very soon. You stay tuned to this program for that. But let's go to the book of Galatians, if you would. Galatians chapter number 3 and verse number 12. We're going to read just a few verses. Galatians 3, verse number 12 says this, And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now, there's so many things we could pull out of this. For sake of time, we're going to focus on one main thing. Here's the title today. Here's the thought. Redeemed, how I love to proclaim it. Maybe you've heard that song before, Redeemed, how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed and so happy in Jesus, his child and forever I am. Here's the thought, redeemed, how I love to proclaim it. We get that thought from Galatians 3.13, Christ hath redeemed us. You see, redemption is not really necessary unless there's something to be redeemed from, or even better, to be redeemed to. Not only were we redeemed from the curse of the law, we were redeemed to Jesus Christ and an eternal home in heaven if we have accepted his free gift of salvation. How amazing is it that we have access to, we are partakers of, if we so choose, eternity in heaven. God is with us. Praise God for the opportunity that we get to serve Emmanuel. He redeemed us. Look back at verse number 12 for just a moment. And the law is not of faith, 
but the man that doeth them shall live in them. We won't take the time, but if you go back to Leviticus 18, verse 5, of course, Paul, the author, the human pen of Galatians, uh, knew the Old Testament, knew the books of the Bible, knew the canon of Scripture very well. And so he was actually paraphrasing or quoting Leviticus 18, 5. You can, on your own time, turn back, back there, uh, talking about us being under the law, having to live in them. You understand that the law is all about what you have to do or what you don't do or what you should not do. Christ supersedes that. Christ is above that. Christ has redeemed us. Praise God for that. I'd like to If you take a moment, you can find in the book of Psalms, again, we won't turn there for time's sake, we can find a verse that says this, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Now, how does that dovetail so nicely into what you and I are commanded to do in the Great Commission? Well, God, Jesus Christ, in the flesh, right before his ascension to heaven, commanded us to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Well, friend, here's the problem. I can't go everywhere in the world, but you are in a different part of the world than I am. And you know a great way that you and I can work together to proclaim the redemption that we have, redeemed how I love to proclaim it, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb? You know how you and I can work together to proclaim redemption to a lost and dying world? Well, I just happen to have thousands upon thousands upon millions of gospel tracts I'd love to send to you. Not only do I, in my daily life, keep some tracts in my breast pocket right here, uh, right beside me in my jacket pocket, but I would love to send you some tracts that you could keep in your purse or in your jacket pocket or in the, uh, the glove compartment of your vehicle or somewhere about your person so that you can give them out to let other people know about the redemption that is so freely offered through Christ Jesus. Praise God for the opportunity that you and I have, but how much better would it be for us to tell someone else about what we have in Jesus. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Friend, are you redeemed today? Let's read that verse one more time. Galatians 3 verse number 13 says this, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Are you redeemed? Would you like to tell someone about it? In just a moment, the announcer will jump on to give you information about how you can contact us. We'd love to send you some free resources. God bless. Have a great day for his glory.